Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline for those of you that do not know and this is OMA Hey. Um, please excuse my nails because we're in quarantine so like not much I can do about it. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about what I'm going to read in April which is going to include just random books I want to read as well as um, the stay at home reading rush TBR also um, the owls readathon which I have already started because I'm filming this late so let's just jump right in <laughs> First things first, make sure you subscribe. That would really mean a lot to me. I have the reading rush rules on my phone as well as I have written down the um, as well as I have written down the owls training thing. I am training or I am taking my owls to become a care of magical children, which if you know me kind of fits. So these are the uh, um, classes that I have to take. I have to take arithmacy. I have to take charms, defense against the dark arts, herbology, history of magic, muggle studies, potions, and transfigurations. Um, so let's get started with that. So for arithmancy, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I have to take, I have to read something outside my favorite genre. Um, I have a lot of favorite genres, but I chose a book of essays because I don't really tend to like those that much. Um, and I have definitely Hispanic growing up Latino and celebrating what unites us by Lejuan James. This is what I'm reading for Arithman C. And I mainly bought this because I am a big fan of La Juan James and like I think he's hilarious and I really love the color it was hilarious and yes so I'm excited to read this one um next for charms I have to read something with a white cover and I plan to read A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. I know I was supposed to read this last month, but I did not get to it, which thank goodness because, I mean, I have other books with white covers, but um, I've really been trying to get to this, so killing two birds with one stone type of thing, you know? Next, for Defense Against the Dark Arts, I have to read something set at the sea or coast. I'm going to read the summer, or I already read because I started this prior. I started this on the first. I'm filming on the fourth. So I have already read the summer I met Jack for charms. I mean, no, for Defense Against the Dark Arts. And this takes place on Cape Cod, which is like. A coastal town so I was very excited to find out that this fit that next for herbology I have to read something that starts with an M and she said you could take out like the A's the those type of thing A the two and like the I don't remember what those words are called but like the first real word has to start with an M. So I'm reading A Midnight Summer's Dream by William Shakespeare. And I'm really excited to jump into this. Um, next for... What was I on? Next for History of Magic, I have to read something that has witches in it. And for this one, I'm going to turn to my Kindle because I am reading this month one of the arcs that I am reading has to do with witches. So I thought it was very befitting, befitting, 
very fitting. How do you say that? And it's called Conj Conjure Women by Afia Atakora. Afia Atakora. So sorry. I definitely butchered that name. Next, we have Muggle Studies. And for that, I have to read a contemporary. So I'm going to read... Pride, a Pride and Prejudice remix. This does take place in modern times, but it's just a like modern retelling of Pride and Prejudice. So I'm excited to read that, and it does center like around a Dominican and Afro Latinos and Brooklyn. So I'm super excited to read this. Next, we are going to be looking at my potions, which for potions, I have to read something under 150 pages. So I'm actually rereading a book, which is The Love Letters of Great Men. Last time I gave this a three star, and I was kind of like underwhelmed with it. So, like, hopefully this time, I'm going to be like, yes, I needed to read it the second time. And this has 144 pages, so it fits right under it. And next, I have, my last class I have to take is Transfigurations, which I have to read a book that includes shape-shifting, and I believe this book includes it this is the sequel to dorothy must die and it is the wicked will rise um i want to say it has shape shifting in it i could just be saying that because i want to read it um i don't have any books really that have shape shifting shape shifting so this is what i'm gonna read and if it doesn't i'm cheating oh well Okay, now let's get to the reading rush. So the stay at home reading rush um, has four challenges. The first is to read a book with the house on the cover and this is the guest list. I just got this from Book of the Month. It has a huge mansion of a house. So, I'm going to be reading this. Next is, next challenge is read a book in the same room the whole time. So, that could literally go for any book I'm reading because I only really read in my bedroom. <laughs> next is read a book set somewhere you wish to go. And for that one, I am using... For that one, I am using the Summer I Met Jack because this does take place um, in Cape Cod, which I do wish to go, and New York, and Rome, which I also wish to go. But also, it takes place in like the 1950s to the 1980s, and I would love to go back to the 1950s. Like, time travel? Yes. And next. The last challenge is read a book that will make you smile. And for this one, I'm reading North Anger Abbey by Jane Austen. This is going to be my fourth book. I am reading it in the order of um, the Jane Austen Book Club. This is what they read in April in that movie. Um, so I'm excited to get to this. Um... And I've loved all of Jane Austen's books. They've all made me smile. I've talked about this before. There's just like this certain innocence that makes it amazing. My favorite book was Emma. My favorite Jane Austen book so far is Emma. I love them all, but like Emma's my favorite. So I anticipate this making me smile.
basically is what I said all that to say. So a few um, books that have nothing to do with any anything and that I am strictly reading because I want to read them. First, we're going to start off with yet another arc. E arc. Um, I am reading Beauty of Her Face by Sahar Mustafa. Mustafa. And, and I am loving it. I'm 57% done. I hope to finish this today. It will get its own separate video. Um, so look forward to that. The next book that I want to finish is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. I don't know what it is about Anna's like writing but it always takes me like a really long time to finish her books i started this in the beginning of march and granted i'm never like super consistent with her stuff but i feel like it just doesn't like grab my attention like the writing's amazing and like the story's really good but i'm not like yearning to pick it up you know what i mean so i'm currently on page 142 i've only read this much i have this much to go um, but I will finish this book this week. Is The Glittering Hour by Iona Gray. This is yet another book of the month. And, um, oh, I have no idea what this one is about. Oh, look. <laughs> I have no idea what this one is about. This says an unforgettable historical novel about tr true love found and lost and the secrets we keep from one another and then it says it's spanning two decades and a somatic shift in british history as world war ii approaches iona's iona gray's the glittering hour is an epic novel of passion heartache and loss so I'm excited to jump into this one. I feel like it's going to be sad, but I have like low-key, high-key feeling historical fiction. You know what I mean? So, that's about it. We're not going to talk about Harry Potter because let me tell you something. I still, I guess we're going to talk about it. I still haven't started this. Like, nothing. I haven't started. And I don't know why, like, I was so enjoying the Harry Potter world, but I think like this book scares me a little bit 870 pages that's insane we're gonna do it though one day i'm not saying it's gonna happen this month to be honest i'm just not gonna update you guys on harry potter anymore until i've actually finished the book and then we can all have a mini party because i've been saying i was gonna finish this book since it's been like three months now to be honest two or three months and I haven't even started this, so we'll just see where we go with that one. Um, those are all the books that I want to talk to you guys about that I plan on reading in April. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys are planning to read this month. Let me know if you've read any of the books I read. Let me know if you're taking... Um, if you're taking part in any of the challenges um i am also doing dewey's 24 hour readathon so maybe i'll blog for that too we'll see we will see <laughs> all right that's all i had to say make sure you guys subscribe Make sure you give this video video a big thumbs up and make sure you share this and any other video on my platform that you feel your people will love and make sure to spread peace and positivity all day every day and remember to keep reading. That's it. See you guys soon. Bye.